What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing the Scarlet exclusive Armor Rouge. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Just want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. Seriously, helping my channel grow, and it really does go a long way. But like I said, we are rocking out with Armorous, and I think Armorous is such a cool Pokemon. We already showcased uh, several Edge, and you guys definitely really seem to enjoy that video. So... Hopefully you guys do enjoy the Armor Rouge video. Such a cool Pokemon, and I just absolutely love its design. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the brand new Pokemon, Graphia, over here. Really cool Pokemon, and it seems like it is going to be a beast of a support Pokemon due to the Prankster ability that it learns. It's got the Salic Berry as its item. It's Rock and Fling, Knock Off, Sunny Day, and Swagger for its moveset. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Shen Pao. And if you guys have been playing a little bit on the ladder, you guys know Shen Pao is ridiculously strong. It got Swords of Ruin as its ability, Focus Sash as its item, and then it's got Icy Wind for Speed Control, Icicle Crash for Big Stab Damage, Sucker Punch for First Turn Priority, and Throat Chop for its final move. Middle left, third Pokemon is going to be Talonflame over here. And Talonflame is going to be an absolute menace on the rank ladder when rank comes out. It has Gale Wings and Tailwind, so it gets first turn priority with flying moves. It also can hold the Covert Cloak, which is a brand new item that does not allow additional effects of moves to happen. This Pokemon cannot be faked out. It's like a guaranteed Tailwind setup every single time. So unless you're versus like a Trick Room team or a team with Tailwind as well, you're basically going to have Speed Control all day long with this Pokemon. It's got Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, Protect, and Tailwind for its moveset. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Armor Rouge over here. Like I said, really cool Pokemon. I love its design, and I think it's going to be even stronger on that rank ladder. It's got weak armor as its ability, and it's rocking the weakness policy as its item. So its stat boost can go through the roof of this Pokemon with those two things. It's got Heat Wave, Expanding Force, Wide Guard to Protect, Double Hitting Moves, and Protect for its final move. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Halucha over here. Strong and quick Pokemon. Going to be solid for today's team with Unburden and a Mirror Herb as its item. This is my first time using Mirror Herb. Really cool new item in the game that allows us to mirror uh, stat boost. So say we're going up against the Salamence and he drops a Dragon Dance and my boy Halucha's out here. My Mirror Herb's going to pop and we're going to get a free Dragon Dance on him as well. So really cool item. Kind of can uh, throw some opponents off as well. Protect, Rock Slide, Acrobats, and High Jump Kick for its four moves. Final Pokemon is going to be our support in DD, and this Pokemon is going to pair really well with Armor Rouge just because Armor Rouge has Expanded Force. In DD can set that Psychic to range, Armor Rouge can drop Expanded Forces, it will do double damage, and it will hit both Pokemon instead of one in the Psychic Terrain. In DD has the Safety Goggles as its item, and then it has Imprison and Trick Room, which is like one of the best ways to counter Trick Room, then Psychic and Hyper Voice for its final two moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that doubles ladder, look to get some wins with this Armor Rouge team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Shen Pao team with Iron Hands, Dragon Pole, Mimikyu, Amoongus, and then a Pokemon that I don't even know the name of, but I know it's a new bug, Evolution. That's all I know. I don't even know its name, and I don't even know what it does, so hopefully we get to see it, and hopefully they get to showcase it out, but who's going to end up leading? Shen Pao could really do me dirty, considering it will be super effective up against my Armors and my Indeedee, so I might not want to lead that. I might want to lead a Shen Pao of my own. I feel like Shen Pao could really do good here. I feel like Talonflame could also do good here if he wants to lead, say, the Iron Hands. And he also has Mimikyu, too. Hmm. I don't want to do this. I think Talonflame, Shen Pao is going to be good. Armor Rouge in the back end with Halucha. And just go all out attack. I'm kind of liking that. We could definitely see a Trick Room, right? Did we lead in DD to kind of block Trick Room? Hmm. I mean, he has a Rage Powder Pokemon. That would give him a free Trick Room. I could go into Indeed. Could definitely go into Indeedee Armor Rouge. That's not too bad. I feel like he has to set up Trick Room. Knowing that we have Tailwind, he has to set up Trick Room. I'm gonna go Indeedee Armor Rouge. If he if he decides to lead the Shen Pao, that's that's fine, I guess. And then from here, I'm gonna go Shen Pao and Ch -ch -ch. Talonflame or Halucha. I like Halucha here. Great move set on him. Yeah, we're gonna lock it in. I feel like he has to go like Mimikyu here and try to pop a Trick Room. Mimikyu Amoongus, I'm feeling, or maybe like Iron Hands. I just feel like Trick Room is an absolute must for him. But if he goes Iron Hands, he can't fake out anymore because the Psychic Terrain's out and about. Let's see what he does. Let's see his lead. The Mimikyu? It is going to be Mimikyu. So I'm just going to imprison Trick Room. I'm imprisoning Trick Room right off the rip here. He can't fake me out due to the terrain. 
and we're gonna roll from there. So great switch up by me. I predicted him going into the uh, Trick Room squad, and I can pop in a free Expanding Force here. Which Expanding Force will do more damage over onto him than Heat Wave. So I'm gonna, just gonna go there, and I'm just gonna straight up imprison the Trick Room. So he's gonna end up withdrawing Iron Hands, that's totally fine. And he's gonna pop into from here. Who are you going into, kind sir? You know, Shen Pao, which I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with. He cannot go for Sucker Punch, which is amazing. Because of the terrain. But this is just going to be a solid turn. Because I feel like he has to pop Trick Room here, right? Is that correct? He has to pop Trick Room, right? Yeah, I'm imprisoning. And yeah, he's definitely popping Trick Room because he's going last. So, yep. We sealed the Trick Room. And he cannot use it. Beautiful. So, strong start for us. Uh, I can just pop a Heat Wave from here. Actually, I could protect. Which I think I'm going to have to do. I think I'm just going to protect. I'm just going to go after you. I wish I had Follow Me. Follow Me could be really nice here. I could Terrasilize, but... Huh. I could swap at this point and go into like a Shen Pao of my own or even like you, Halucha. What's your speed? What's your speed? 187. He's going to be fast on the field. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. I think we just protect this turn and then we just pop this Hyper Voice. Well, you know, I'm just going to Psychic this Mimikyu down. I feel like he has to go for like a Throw Chop or something into me. Into my armor slot at least. I'm just going to protect him. He's still fast in this, which kind of sucks. Trick Room could have did this good. Yep, the third chop comes across. We block it. I could swap the armors and save him for later. Could be nice. Psychic's gonna fly. Can this KO? Gonna do some nice damage. Does not KO, but still solid damage. He's gonna drop a player up. And are you doubling down? He doubles down. We love it. We love it. So he doubles down. I could swap the armors from here. We know he's going for the dark move. I could just get get out my Shen Pao. I'm liking my Shen Pao here. Save my armors for later. If he hits me with a throw chop, I'm dead. I die instantly. I die instantly. So we're not going to let our armors go down. And we are going to swap him into the Shen Pao. So Shen Pao is going to come out here. And I'm going to roll into... I could pop a Trick Room at this point. Nah, but he has Iron Hands in the back end. I really don't feel like dying or, or dealing with that. I'm just going to go after the Mimikyu slot. I'm just going to finish off this Mimikyu. This is going to be a good battle. This is going to be a great first battle. So armors uh switches back. We're going to Shen Pao from this at this point. Defense down. He's going for a third chop, aren't you? And we're able to soak that one up. We're able to soak pretty well. We're gonna drop a psychic. We are gonna take out Mimis. And we'll say see you later to him. So Mimikyu drops out. He's not gonna go into Iron Hands. I feel like he has to show his last Pokemon here. But Shen Pao is a pain, dude. That's why Talonflame could have been really good for us. <laughs> it's good that he can't go for Sucker Punches, because Sucker Punch really does his dirty. He can go into Iron Hands. He can't fake us out. He cannot fake me out. I could double down into him, and I think I might do that. Or I could Icy Wind across the board. Which I think I'm going to do I think I'm just going to Icy Wind and Psychic. Slow down his Shen Pao and kind of blow up from there. I'm all about it. So Icy Wind's going to poke here. Psychic is going to fly through here. Maybe Psychic can pick up the KO. This could be a big time KO. But I think Shen Pao might not speed here. No, he does not. Beautiful. Icy Wind coming in hot. Psychic comes in here, does a huge chunk of damage to that Pokemon. And he's going to throw a Chop Me and pick up the KO. That's fine. And he's going to pick up the double KO, actually, here. He's going to pick up the lovely little double KO with a close combat, probably. And he's going to go for an Iron Head. So that takes us out, regardless. So not bad. He is slowed down. He is slowed down. So my Pokemon should be able to outspeed. And let me see Indeedee's speed. If Armor Rouge is faster than Indeedee, we could really be in a good spot here. It is. That is beautiful. So our Armor Rouge now outspeeds the... Uh, the Shen Pao. That's great turns from and he can't drop a sucker punch. How many turns is left in this uh is left in this terrain? He showed me two. We might only have one. We do only have one. So he can out he can just protect and, and run out terrain. I'm gonna pop a heat wave here. And I might just rock slide on top of this. Go ahead, acrobats on top of this. I'd rather go for a move. Actually I could terrestrialize here. But terrestrialize uh I terrestrialize you in the fire. There's, oh, yeah. We're definitely going to terrestrialize. Because then if he wants to sucker punch me after this, we're going to be a straight fire type. So I'm all about that. I'm going to drop that. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to rock slide across the board. Just in case we don't pick up the KO on anybody, we can just clean this up with a rock slide. But yeah, terrestrializing here is going to be huge. It takes away our psychic typing. And we, we won't be super effective up against the darks. 
So say he protects and wastes out terrain just to get off that sucker punch. It's gonna be solid. It's gonna be solid. The great battle so far. I'm loving this battle. Rockside's gonna fly. No protects come out from him. I'm loving it. As long as his heat wave connects. GG's. Double kill all day. It does connect. Beautiful. Big time double kill coming out here from Arm Rouge. Great swap from us. I probably should have just terrestrialized it earlier so we could eat up the throw chop. But I'm still kind of getting used to the whole terrestrialization feature. Like sometimes I just forget I have it. But big time double kill. I think he has one more Pokemon, doesn't he? But we're sitting in a perfect position here. Sitting in a great position. Let's see who his final Pokemon is. Or did I already see it? It's going to be this bug thing. This little bug thing. I don't even know what it does, but Heat Wave's definitely going to come out from us again. And I kind of want to see its typing and its name. If I can check status, I can hit this thing. And of course, his name is in a, a different language, but it is Bug and Psychic. Really cool typing there. I can drop a Heat Wave into that, and on top of that, I can also drop an Acrobatics. Or I can drop a Rock Slide. Rock Slide would... Actually, no, Acrobatics should do more. Yeah, because it's Stab. So I'm just going to go into Acrobatics. And does he cancel battle? No, he's going to straight Terrasalize. And what's he going to Terrasalize into? Bug, Psychic, or totally new typing? Let's see it. It's going to be dark. Okay. It's going to be a little bit of dark action. Nice little dark terrestrialization, but still acrobatics and fly through here. Chip up some nice damage. Heat wave should be able to come out here. And I think pick up the KO. Or he dodges it. And he pops a trick room. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> he pops a trick room. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, I'm going to Heat Wave here, and I can just pop a high jump kick and pretty much finish this battle. And go for... Yo, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> this thing has Revival Blessing. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Who's going to come out here? Oh, I'm dropping a Heat Wave. If I can land this Heat Wave. Okay, that's, that's GG's. <laughs> He just revived the Pokemon that's weak to Heat Wave. He's able to eat it, though. Yo, stop. I need you to land this high jump kick here. You can fake me out now. Land this high jump kick. Halucha, I love you. So we take you out. Okay. He can fake me out, but we're chilling in such a good spot now. That was such a cool play, though, at the end. I thought we, we had a shot at losing that. I was like, wait a minute. And actually, Heat Wave's not super effective on that thing. It just looks Steel-type, because all the Futuristics are all Chrome. When well, it's actually Electric and Fighting, but... I can pop uh, Expanded Force here. Expanded Force will do more damage, so I'm just going to Expanded Force here. And I'm just going to pop a... Uh, wow, look, look at this. It, it's still saying super effective when there's only Hariyama on the field. But I'm just going to pop a, another high jump kick. That is crazy. He's going to wild charge me. He has Trick Room. And that's going to KO me. But Expanded Force should be able to clean this one up. That should be GG's. That should be GG's. Yo, what a final battle. He takes recoil damage. Did he die to that? No, he didn't, but Expanded Force is going to clean this one up. What? Not a final battle. What a f end to the, the first battle. What an end to the first battle. Revival Blessing comes out here. Armourous clutches up, and that was just an awesome battle all around. Second match coming at you guys. Hopefully, we can have as good of a match as we had in battle number one, but we're going up against some really tough Pokemon. He's got Dragonite, who's taken over the meta at the moment. Flutter Remain, Twerkle, Annihilate, Kilowattle, who can set up a Trick Room, and then he's got the oh-so-strong Roaring Moon Pokemon. Um... I feel like Townplane has to come out here from us, right? Have to be able to set up a Tailwind or something like that. We could go Hulucha for a lead, too. But I wonder who he's going to lead. Kilowattrel and, like, Dragonite, maybe? Kilowattrel, Roaring Moon? It's like Armourouge and Indeedee really get dumped on by a lot of these Dark types. So do I want to go Shen Pao for a lead? I could go Shen Pao. I could go Shen Pao if I want to. Or I could go Hulucha. Which is not bad, but I, I'm kind of digging Shen Pao. Hmm. I kind of want to go Shen Pao here. But it's Shen Pao action. So send Shen Pao, Talonflame, I'm digging. I'm going to bring Halucha and Armor Rouge in the back end. I like that the most. I do like that the most. This one's going to be tough. I don't know if we can pull out this win. Just looking at this team, it's so strong and they're so tough to play up against. Especially when you don't have a lot of experience playing up against them. But we'll see. We'll see. But yo, dude, I cannot get that first battle out of my head. I was sitting there. I was like, yo, this one's going to be easy one. Trick Room, and then he pops a Revival Blast. I'm like, yo, wait a minute. <laughs> Luckily, we were still able to pull off that win. He's going to go into Shiny Annihilate and Shiny Torkoal. I'm loving it. I'm loving the Shinies already. And we're going to pop a nice little Swords of Ruin. So from here, um, Brave Bird come out here. He could protect. He could definitely protect. 
could definitely protect it. Could go into Florida Blitz. I mean, I feel like a Brave Bird's probably got to be your play, right? And I could Iso Crash. Could do a lot. I could Terrasilize and go into a Throw Chop here. Just to take off that typing for us. And I think it's going to be my play. Yeah, I'm going to Terrasilize in the Dark. I'm Terrasilizing in the Dark just to take off that Ice type from us. I'm taking off the Ice type. I'm doing it. Taking it off. So I'm Terrasilizing the Shen Pout right off the rip here. Bringing it to Dark type and making him a nice, beautiful crystal. I think Terrasilize Pokemon looks so cool. They're just solid crystals. The Brave Bird's going to fly here. I feel like this should be able to pick up the KO, right? Yeah. Just let me Brave Bird into your Annihilate. No problem. It's no problem. We'll take some mean recoil damage. And we're going to be able to drop a mean throw chop here. Times two damage with Terrasilization. Bop. Big time damage. Is he going for an eruption? We go for a yawn. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Yawning my boy. Yawning my boy. How dare you? How dare you? Who are you going to go into from here? I could swap the Shen Pao. Save him for later. I think that could be our play. And we could potentially go Tailwind here. If I can pull this off. I'm going to go Tailwind. And I'm just going to go into... I could go Icy Wind. Just to slow down everybody. But I feel like swapping Shen Pao. Into maybe Armor Rouge? I could go Halucha. I think Armor Rouge got to come out here. I'm going to swap him into Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge. I really want to get off this Tailwind. We'll see how this one plays. Let's see what he goes into. He might go into a Tailwind of his own. No, nope, I'm able to Tailwind. Let's see what he's doing. I don't mind if he takes out my boy. My Talonflame at this point. He is going to take out my Talonflame. We'd like that. I don't mind that one bit. I don't mind that one bit. Because now I can bring back out Shen Pao. Or I can bring out Halucha. I have a lot of speed control. And we get to see what his final Pokemon is before we actually get to swap in. <clears throat> but Torkoal's a little scary. I feel like he's just popping an eruption at this point point that armor should be able to soak up we shall see he's gonna go into flutter me i'm fine with that i'm perfectly fine with that in a shiny flutter me dude's rocking all the shinies he gets the photosynthesis his speed is going to be height and we do have tailwind and he's gonna eat what he's half health armor should say yeah that's a tasty snack so armor goes like this mwah, 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 mwah. licks his fingers because that's tasty snack he ate that up all day but from here i can just go into you i could sucker punch at heat wave uh, I still have my Terras type here as well, which I'm really digging, which I am definitely digging. I'm thinking of doing that. I'm thinking of just, yeah, just going in Shen Pao here. I wonder if we would outspeed this thing in Tailwind. Because when it says speed is heightened, does that mean it's just like, it's plus six on speed? That's what I'm confused about, but I'm going to go into this. I might just expand and force the Torkoal. But now I'm going to Heat Wave just in case. I could actually... Block here, but I'm gonna heat wave just in case uh Fluttermane survives the sucker punch. Just so we can double down into it. I'm gonna drop that and yeah, get him on out of here. Shen Pao ripping. Should have dropped the expanded force, but it's totally fine. Heat wave's gonna get a little bit of a boost here from the sun. And chip up some mean damage onto the Torkoal. That's some mean damage. This thing pops it citrus berry, right? Correct? That's Citrus Berry. Yeah, Citrus Berry. And we're thriving out here in battle number two. He's going to yawn my Shen Pao again. Yo, leave my Shen Pao alone. I'm leaving him in at this point. Because I know a Heat Wave can't kill the Torkoal. And I can just double down into whatever Pokemon he throws out. Which is going to be the kill of Watchful. So, yeah, GG's. We have Tailwind. We have Speed Control. We're thriving out here in battle number two. And we're dominating it. So, I'm going to Ice Hill Crash here. I'm going to pop the Heat Wave. Does this guy cancel? Does he cancel the battle? Or does he want his poor little turtle and bird to die? Let's see, but look how sick Armor Rouge looks. So cool. So cool. He's going to Terrasilize. He is Terrasilize. Who are you Terrasilizing? The bird? Electric-type bird? What are you doing with the bird? Electric-type bird. That's fine. You're still dead. You're still dead. Unless I miss the Icicle Crash. Or the Heat Wave. Unless I miss one of the moves. Torkoal protects. That's fine. That's totally fine. Icicle Crash coming hot here. That connects. That should be a nice chunk of damage. It KOs. We get a crit. The pokey guys were like, yo, Jeans, you got this match in the bag. Let's wrap it up quicker. I'm going to give you a crit here. You can take out the bird in one shot. <laughs> so we take out the bird. Heat Wave is going to come out here now. Torko going to block it. And this match is over. This match is over. It's over. He puts my Shed Power to sleep, but Armor Rouge can pick up the KO. No problem. No problem. No problem. So we'll go for another. Uh, we'll go for Throw Chop in this case, even though we're not going to wake up here. 
And what does more damage? Expanded Force can do way more damage. Pick up the KO. Poor little turtle. Poor little turtle. But yo, Shen Pao, Terrasalizing in Dark type, hits like a truck with Sucker Punch. Hits way too hard with Sucker Punch, especially with the defense drop due to its ability. But opponent cancels the battle. We can now hop into our third and final battle and look for another perfect record for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're sitting at 2-0. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. Going up against the Shrule Edge team. So we got a, got a bit of a rivalry here. We got Pokemon Violet versus Pokemon Scarlet team right here. He also has the Rotom uh, Wash. Also have a Grimmsnarl, Sylveon, Garchomp, and is that Gargle Knack? Is that how you pronounce that Pokemon? Still learning a few Pokemon names, but the only combo we haven't showcased yet is going to be Armor Rouge and uh, Grafia. So I really want to go in with both those Pokemon. Bring Shen Pao in the back end and then final Pokemon. Lean a bit towards like Halucha here. I think that rock Pokemon is going to do me dirty. I think that's going to be a tough, a tough Pokemon to get around. It seems like it's going to be a tough, tough Pokemon to get around, but I'm going to end up leading these guys. We're going to roll out with it. We are going to roll out with it. But I can actually go into a fling, fling that Salkberry at my Armourish, proc weakness policy, and then proc weak armor as well. Eat the berry, get a speed boost. Weak armor ability gives me a plus, another plus speed boost. Weakness policy gives me a plus two special attack. And then next turn, I can set up a sunny day so I can pop some heat waves and all that. And then on top of that, I can terrestrialize as well. So maybe we can pull off this combo. Maybe, just maybe. It would be incredible. It would be really good. But I don't know. I don't know what the Pokemon. It could do a crazy amount of damage. It could do a crazy amount of damage. It really depends who he leads. I'm kind of hoping he's not leading Minecraft Rock. He does not. I'm down with this lead. I'm all about this lead. I'm all about this lead. So yeah, I'm just going to fling this turn. I think this is just an easy fling turn, right? He's probably going to set up a screen. Uh, he can fake me out too. He can definitely fake me out with uh, Grimmsnarl, but I feel like a lot of them haven't been rocked. So he could potentially Thunder Wave me, but I feel like he just sets up a, a screen here. I think screen definitely comes in here. So we're going to fling. We're going to proc weakness policy. And I'm just going to pop a Heat Wave. I'm going to pop a Heat Wave. Get rolling with this. Get rolling with the waves that are full of heat. But hopefully we get to just dominate this battle because I would love to show off this combo in this battle. I just feel like the first two battles, uh, the the uh, the way that everything was, uh, or the teams that we were facing, we had to go into a different lead. But this this seems like it'd be good. Seems like it could definitely be good. But Sylveon's really good. It can also yawn into me, which could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem if it does yawn into me. I think Grimstrong looks amazing in this generation. Like, look how sick he looks. Looks really good. He does end up setting up a screen, which I'm totally fine with. I am definitely fine with him setting up a screen. And I'm just going to fling a berry here. I'm just going to fling a berry. And I'm going to set up the Sunny Day next turn. And I might even Terrasalize, depending on what this Sylveon does. So, Salkberry is going to get eaten. Weak Armor is going to pop here. It's going to drop our defense. That's totally fine. But it raises our speed. So now we're plus two on speed. And then on top of that, the weakness policy is here. The weakness policy pops out. We should be able to outspeed Sylveon, I think. We do. Cool. So Heat Wave's going to fly here. That does some solid damage. That does really solid damage. He's going to Hyper Voice. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Because now from here, I can... Uh, okay, it's going to Thirst Spray. But from here, I'm going to set the Sunny Day. And I am going to also Terrasalize here. I think it's an absolute must. I think it's a must. But we can check this Pokemon status. And look at those stats. I'm plus three on speed? How'd I get plus three on speed? How did oh the Salak go the Salak plus two it? Or does weak armor probably boost plus two? I think weak armor goes plus two, so I'm plus three on speed. Oh yeah, this is just a sunny day play all day. So I'm gonna sunny day now. I'm gonna terrasalize on top of that. And I'm throwing a heat wave. I'm throwing a heat wave. Through light screen, I feel like we have a shot at picking up a double KO here, which would be ridiculous. But I know you guys are probably wondering, like, yo, Jeans, why didn't you just terrestrialize last turn? If we terrestrialized last turn, the fling wouldn't have been super effective. So we wouldn't have properly just files. So if you're going to run this team and run this combo, make sure you terrestrialize after the fact. And now Sunny Day comes out here. We're setting the sun. Give me that fire boost damage. And parting shot. You got parting shot. Come on now. Oh, don't do me like that. Don't drop my special attack like that. I'm trying to stack here. Parting shot on the Grimstorm. Is that new to this game? I feel like if it was in Sword and Shield, a lot of people would be using it. I think it is new. I think he just got that move. Which is really good with pranks. Wow. <clears throat> I'm surprised we haven't seen a lot more Grimstones running that. I know Grafia learns it too. I know he learns Parting Shot with pranks, so you can kind of just roll out with that. Let's see what he goes into. We're now plus one on special attack, but with all these boosts right here, it's looking pretty good. He goes into this Pokemon, which is going to be annoying. This Pokemon's definitely going to be annoying. If we pop a Heat Wave. Is this KO to Sylveon? 
It does not. But big damage all the around. Give me some burns. He's gonna be able to calm mine set up. So he calm mines. That's a. That, that, that's kind of a bear calm mine because I could just outspeed and KO. I'm gonna go for another heat wave. He is going to pop. What does he have? Leftovers? How'd he go? Did he use leftovers last turn? I just didn't notice. That's fine. I'm gonna knock off your item, whatever it is, and I'm just gonna go into a heat wave. I'm just gonna pop a nice level heat wave. So he's gonna protect the Sylveon. That's fine. He's probably going into a rock move to look to get the KO. But maybe I can get off a burn here. A burn would be big time onto this onto Minecraft rocks. A burn would be big on Minecraft rocks. So another heat wave flying. The sun is out and about. Getting off some nice damage. Give me that burn. This thing is a defensive bull. We do not get the burn. Knock off doing some good damage with a crit. And we take its item. It's bright powder. This thing's rocking bright powder. It goes for a salt cure. I'm fine with that. Salt cure is not gonna be able to KO. And we're fine here. We are definitely fine. We're definitely fine because Salt Cure only does about, I think, 20 damage. Onto my Armor Rouge. And then Heat Wave should be able to poke in here, pick up the double KO. Unless he lands double protect, right? Yeah, it does 20 damage. Okay, so it does 20 damage. I believe it's one eighth of the damage of your max HP. And then from here, we gotta take out this Rock. We gotta take out Rock Boy. But I think Rock Boy just protects, right? Unless he doesn't have protect. If he protects Salt Cure, would take me out, and then he can uh, get after me another turn. But yo, this Armorish combo is amazing. If he didn't have Light Screen, woo, we were dumping on all of his Pokemon. If he did not have Light Screen, I kid you not, this would have been an easy sweep. But still, we got to showcase how much damage this thing can really do. Let's see what he goes into. He's going to end up withdrawing this thing, which I'm cool with. That thing is low HP. I'd rather do a lot of damage to another Pokemon. I think he might go into Grimmy here. No, he goes to Rotom. Okay, so now we know all of his Pokemon. He's going to try to get that double protect. It fails. We're going to be able to drop this Heat Wave. Take it out. And on top of that, get off another knockoff with the Grafia. And knock off Rotom's item. Loving it. Loving this Pokemon. Loving Armor Rouge, dude. Armor Rouge is ripping. Knockoff coming in here. Give me that item. And now none of you guys have items. We took it Citrus Berry. Sylveon uses Third Spray. And we took the uh, Rock Pokemon's. Bright powder. But Salt Cure comes in here. Really good move. Takes me out. And that's fine. That's fine. I got off I got done a lot of work with that Pokemon. Got done too much work. But I can bring out Shen Pao here. Who do you think he's gonna bring out here? He's gotta bring out what's it called? He's gotta bring out uh Grimstarl. I feel like Grimstarl's an absolute must. Yep, Grimstarl comes back out here. Sure, the ruin is out and about. I could go for sucker punch, but there's no point. I just feel like we. I'm gonna just start chipping in this thing. I could just throw chop this thing down, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take out the Rotom. I'm gonna say bye bye to Rotom. Later, Rotom. But yo, Shen Pao's ability is ridiculously strong. Dropping defense and his attack stats already so high. It just rips. It just rips. So he's gonna end up protect. Solid protect from him. Really good protect. And we'll see what he wants to do here. He's going to set up the Reflect. Smart Reflect. I mean, Protect doesn't really do much, but... It's fine. It's just, it just buys some time, I guess. Just gives him another turn. Knock off should come out here. Do a little bit of damage on him. Probably take off the Light Clay. Yeah, but he already got off screen, so it don't even matter. I'm just, I'm just using it for damage. Um, hmm. Go for Swagger on that thing. I might Swagger the Rotom. I think I am. I'm going to swagger the Rotom, and I'm going to try to get rid of this, uh, this Grimstarl. I'm going to swagger the Rotom. I know it's special attack, and we're going to boost his attack that's going to do absolutely nothing because he doesn't use physical attack moves, and we're just going to throw confusion on him. He withdraws Rotom. Alright, this could be bad now. This could be bad, because now we are boosting attack of a physical attacker. No bueno. No bueno. But still, confusing on top of that. Alright, I guess. I guess it's fine. Plus, I think a Sucker Punch or something like that could KO pretty easily. So we confuse him. Ice Sucker Crash can come out here. It does connect. Can we KO through the Reflect? We don't. We do not. We do get a flinch, though. That's a big time flinch. Big time flinch. Sunny Day is gone. Uh, Grafia can just start dealing damage to this thing, I guess. <laughs> and. Let's go for Throw Chop. Yeah, Throw Chop should be able to KO this thing. But she might protect it. No, he does not. Throw Chop comes in hot. Beautiful. We get rid of that rock Pokemon, who is really strong. He is actually really strong in rank. 
Just that solid rock typing up against a lot of the meta Pokemon. It does a lot of work. Knockoff comes out here. Chips up a little bit of damage. Spirit Break's going to fly. That's totally fine. We have Sash, and we survive on 17 HP regardless. And now he's forced to bring out Rotom. He is forced to bring out Rotom. And I still have Haluchi in the back. So, guess what, guys? Another perfect record for me. He's absolutely dominating in today's video. Killing it once again. But I'm just going to drop this. And he might protect. I feel like he protects Rotom, right? It makes the most sense to protect the Rotom and take, him, take me out. They could go for an Icy Wind. It makes the most sense to protect the Rotom, right? I feel like he has to be protecting the Rotom. He could Terrasalize still doesn't, can he? He does not protect the Rotom. That's fine, because we're going to be able to slow down. Knockoff's going to be able to pick up the KO, and I'm fine with taking that out. I just didn't want to protect the Rotom and then being able to take out my, uh, my Shen Pao. With the Grim Snarl. Because I think if we did not Icy win that Grim Snarl, that knockoff wasn't KO'd. So we take out him, he's gonna be able to drop a Thunderbolt. Gen Pal's gonna drop out here and ooh. Wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. Who's faster? Light screen's gone. Or a flex still here. I think I have to protect Halucha here. And I can swagger this Pokemon too. I'm gonna swagger him. Do I protect Halucha here? I'm going to protect Hulucha. We might lose this battle. I might have said that we have a perfect record. Oh, we canceled. Never mind. Okay, we did get the perfect record, but he definitely had a shot there. I'm telling you right now, if you want to win some battles on the ladder, make sure you guys rent this amazing Armor Rouge team. I absolutely love this Pokemon. The Grafia and Armor Rouge combo is definitely very, very strong. You can also pair it up with the Ndidi. And then you have the other Pokemon like the Shen Pao, Talonflame, and Halucha to clean up a lot of the rest of the Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.